It's Chris and up here in Mammoth. Here's another great example why you don't use fake stone. I'm sure when this was built, it looked rather nice. But a few years later, maybe 10 years later, it's completely blown to crap. It looks horrible. And I'm sure it's looked horrible for quite a long time. This is fake stone veneer. It's material that's made with cement, volcanic cinder, and then painted. And the recipe hasn't changed from the time when this was made to the current stuff. Sure, there might be some improvements, but overall, it's still the same old junk. And in a, an extreme climate like this, where this whole sign might have been buried by snow at one point, at least the whole base of it, then it melts, snows again. All you wind up with is a horrible sign monument fixture of cheap cement. I'm not sure what this cost to make. Maybe a thousand bucks. I can tell you for two thousand bucks at the most, you could have had a premium quartzite or Montana argillite stone that would have stood the test of time. We'd still be looking at a thing of beauty. 20 years later don't cheapen your job by using fake stone it works only in a few moderate climate regions the harsher the climate you're in or the greater the difference between summertime and wintertime the greater the snowfall the greater the ice coverage the worse the fake stone is going to look and that's just the way it is, regardless of what the salesperson tells you.